Welcome to Can You Fitness. I feel like these introductions are getting a little bit more creative as I go. By the way, every single one of this stuff is like not scripted or anything. It's just straight up whatever goes in my head. So I might make a little bit of error here and there. But hey, I'm freaking human. But uh, besides from that, subscribe, like, comment down below, and share. And if you have any topics that you want me to cover, I'll be more than happy to. But that said, um, somebody actually um, sent me a, a comment on YouTube about certain topics I could cover, which is actually perfect because I'm, as I'm doing this, they're, they made that already. So I want to talk a little bit about um, training muscle groups. Do you train them once a week or do you tra train them twice a week? This comes at the exact same expense of like, um, do you need to be dogmatic about certain things? Do you need to just only train a muscle group once a week? Probably, probably not. Do you need to train a muscle group more than once a week? Probably, probably not. But it all depends on like your life schedule, what you can and can't do. But once a week training can be effective if you programmed it properly. By what I mean, like you can train chest on Monday and hit it with a lot of volume and you'll still grow. You can train back on the next day, train everything once a week, and you'll still grow if there's a lot of specific amount of volume to be able to compensate for, because as everybody knows, volume is the main driving force of hypertrophy, right? So the higher volume that you have, the more gains you potentially might be able to have. So it doesn't, it all depends. It just, this is all preference. You can train something once a week or you can train it twice a week. For me, personally, I've tried both. I've trained once a week and I've made great progress. Like, really great progress. I've trained twice a week, I've also made great progress. Like, really great progress. But it all depends on what you wanna do. But for the, my suggestion is to be able to hit the muscle group frequently throughout the weeks would probably be effective, a lot more effective than training it once a week. Because let's say you, let's say you do chest on a Monday. You're gonna have to wait all the way till the next week to be able to train chest again. At that point, your, uh, what is it, muscle protein synthesis, probably not gonna do any good. But if you're hitting the muscles more frequently throughout the week and MPS is up, you're actually be able to grow a lot better because you're chest is not going to take a full seven days to recover your chest might need maybe like 48 hours to 72 hours to recover and that's where training twice a week body part twice a week becomes very important because let's say you train chest again chest on Monday and you train chest again either on Thursday or Friday now you're having more MPS to be able to help recovery based on the foods and the nutrition that you're eating and then aid that recovery from your chest day and also you can hit the, hit, hit the muscle group again, either on Wednesday or Thursday. This gives you a time frame to be able to fully be recovered and then perform much better. But if you train something once a week, I'm not trying to wait a whole week to train the exact same muscle group. And you shouldn't either. But are there ways that you can program it where it can be very effective? Yeah, 100%. Like, let's use once uh, once a week, for example. This is what I call a modified bro split. You can train your chest once a week, right? And then maybe two, three days later, touch it up a little. Do some push-ups. Do some flies or something. Maybe just like four sets. Because you already trained your chest on Monday with such a high amount of volume that you can just touch it up a little just to get that MPS going so that we can kind of grow as you as, throughout the weeks. That's what I personally recommend. Instead of just following the bro split, do a modified version. You can still train the muscle group once a week, but you just have to emphasize a little bit more on it the second time to basically touch it up. And twice a week just works much better because you can hit the muscle group more frequently. And also, if you like going to the gym more than once a week, twice a week is great because now you can basically just go to the gym more frequently instead of going once a week, but hitting the same muscle group every so often throughout the week. Um, that's my opinion on it. I mean, a lot of people have different thoughts, different opinion on it. I think once a week is great. You can make great progress training once a week. I've done it 
a lot of other bodybuilders have done it. Is it optimal? Probably not, but optimal is very subjective based on how you incorporate these things into your lifestyle and if it's beneficial for you. If you can only go to the gym where you can do that once a week, then go ahead and do it. And twice a week, it's really good. Twice a week is good. Is it optimal? For some people it might not be, but it's what you make out of it that kind of makes a difference. So if you like this, um, this advice as usual, like, comment, share, and if you have anything else you want me to talk about and cover, I'll more than, be more than happy to. But just like, share, comment, and don't forget to follow the Instagram at Can You Lift because I can totally dig that.